Gigafactory Berlin's newest electric vehicle manufacturing line, which includes the company's new Godzilla robot, has been the subject of a comprehensive and stunning look from Tesla. Tesla's two most recent plants, the Gigafactory in Texas and the Gigafactory in Berlin, use the most advanced production techniques. To learn more about Tesla's new Godzilla robot, watch the video until the end. For more interesting content like this, subscribe to our channel Elon Musk Center and hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever a new video is posted. For years, the auto industry undervalued Tesla as a car maker. Still, people recognized the company's advancements, particularly in body fabrication, using big casting technology. The business made significant investments in huge casting presses and stamping equipment to make fewer but larger components, which led to cheaper capital costs and more effective production lines. Recently, Tesla has increased its use of social media and its blog to establish its voice rather than having everything go on through Elon Musk, as has been the case ever since he disbanded Tesla's PR staff. As part of this new initiative, the carmaker has now provided an in-depth look at his most recent manufacturing line at the Gigafactory in Berlin. 7,300 tons of force are applied to 13 distinct body parts in a press line that can produce up to 16 components per minute. To demonstrate how it makes 13 various body sections, Tesla first displays its stamping line. The manufacturer also highlights its rear underbody, which, with a single piece replacing 70 pieces, has been its greatest usage of its Gigapress so far. 600 plus robots work together in the body shop to weld stamped components and chassis castings. After that, one of the biggest industrial robots ever, called Godzilla, lifts each automobile body into the paint shop. The manufacturer now takes satisfaction in employing fewer robots after utilizing too much automation and robots in the first Model 3 manufacturing line, a mistake that Tesla subsequently acknowledged. But it admits that it still uses a sizable number of robots in its most recent production line, over 600. The biggest industrial robot in the world, Godzilla, is one of those machines. Several automakers employ this enormous robot, which Fanuc produced. The manufacturer also displayed the new multi-layered hues just made available for the Model Y thanks to its Gigafactory Berlin paint shop, which it claims is the most sophisticated in the world. The car is then transported to General Assembly, where 20 plus automated stations install seats, HVAC, power electronics, drive units, and other components. The General Assembly line for the Model Y at Gigafactory Berlin has finally been updated by Tesla with the latest images. The industrial concept proposed by Tesla has garnered interest from other businesses. Volkswagen's former CEO Herbert Dice stated that Tesla expected to produce one car at the Gigafactory Berlin in 10 hours instead of VW, which would have one car at its Zwickau facility in over 30 hours. According to Tesla's most recent statement, the Gigafactory in Berlin is now manufacturing 3,000 Model Y automobiles per week and to increase that to 5,000 units per week. Many people praise Tesla for her inventions, particularly for the use of casting technology in manufacturing bodies, which has helped her establish herself as one of the most significant automakers in recent years. The most advanced Tesla painting system is found at the Berlin Gigafactory. According to the business, it enables a multi-layer paint for depth, dimension, and a hand-painted effect. Also, it features more than 20 automated stations for mounting the car's other parts, including the seats, HVAC system, and powertrain. A whole vehicle body is lifted by Godzilla by the US EV manufacturer from the body shop line to the paint shop line. The EV brand also employs a Giga Press that can stamp entire component in a single run, unlike in the past when the rear underbody was assembled from about 70 distinct pieces. Finally, using more than 600 robots, all the pressed pieces and chassis castings are joined together before traveling to the most advanced paint studio. The Berlin Gigafactory is home to several innovative technologies in addition to Godzilla. The Gigapress, the biggest casting machine in the world, is located in Tesla's Berlin facility. Larger cast parts are produced by the electric car manufacturer using the Gigapress, streamlining production. Rear chassis underbody elements are cast in a single piece using a proprietary aluminium alloy, replacing more than 70 metal parts, Tesla said in a tweet about Gigapress's simplified production. Before we continue, please subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Hit the bell icon to receive notifications when every new video is posted, and we'll get back to the video. 2020 saw the use of Tesla's first Gigapressor at its Fremont in California facility. According to Inside EVs, Tesla's assembly line for employees utilizes the Gigapress to create a Model Y SUV's front and rear underbody castings. Four of the Gigapressors are located in the electric vehicle manufacturer's Texas plant, which is stated to have at least 12 in total. 
There are more presses at Tesla's factories in Shanghai, Texas, Berlin, and California, and the company's assembly facilities. Tesla provides an inside look at production and its Berlin Gigafactory in videos posted to its Twitter account. It's significant because Tesla has entirely rethought how vehicles are built, enabling it to provide the highest margins in the automotive industry and opening the road for future low-cost EVs. The final assembly of the Tesla Model Y is covered in all five videos, starting with the casting vehicle's undercarriage elements. To create Cybertruck, similar but bigger Giga casting machines will be employed. To achieve this, IDRA recently gave Tesla Giga Texas a 9,000-ton machine. The dead body is then raised by one of the biggest robotic arms in the world before going to the body shop, where hundreds of robots weld many of the pieces. The completely automated paint shop demonstrates the improvements Tesla has made to its manufacturing techniques and the painting of its vehicle. The same studio is producing the gorgeous Quicksilver and Cherry Red. They were shown late last year on Tesla Model Ys built in Germany throughout Europe. Next, Tesla will show out the final assembly room to give viewers an idea of what goes into finishing each Model Y made at Berlin facility. Early last year, while COVID restrictions were intensifying at its Shanghai facility, which sells EVs to Australia, the Berlin factory launched. After decades of cohabitation, enormous robots that can do the tasks of many people have gained respect, and as a result, they are receiving new, more flattering titles. The Tesla Motors Incorporated facility in Fremont in California, which is run by a firm founded by Elon Musk, a great comic book enthusiast, is where the trend is most evident. The largest robots have Marvel superheroes as their nicknames. They wear name tags that contain Wolverine, Professor X, Iceman, and Beast, and plexiglass encircles them. The labels match the mojo of the plant. An evolution of man painting depicting apes turning into men and men becoming Iron Man is currently on display in the facility, which used to be jointly owned by Toyota Motor Corp and General Motors Co. The name of about a dozen of Tesla's robots are known. The massive robots at the Fremont facility lift the Model S's aluminium bodywork and move it into a new line. It's impossible to perform the task without Baby Zilla, a transfer line robot that moves the truck's dead body from the body shop to the assembly line in Dearborn, Michigan, and Kansas City in Missouri. Yet, Baby Zilla labors under the watchful eye of Godzilla, a massive M2000 Fanuc robot employed by Ford factories that manufacture steel bodies. It can pick up a vehicle and transport it from one moving assembly platform to another while lifting roughly 3,000 pounds. The robot's jaws are constantly opening and shutting, and it's easy to understand how it resembles the 100-foot, fire-breathing monster that wreaks havoc in Tokyo. Robots at their factory have been named Godzilla by Toyota, GM, and Honda. At the East Liberty, Ohio plant where the CRV sport utility vehicle is built, Honda's Godzilla collaborates with another M2000 known as T-Rex. And that will be all for today's video. If you like this video, then please give us a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we post a new video. Also, express your valuable thoughts in the comment section below and spend some time watching our other videos on our channel too. Thank you once again for joining us. Until next time, bye bye.